Yo folks, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we'll be covering Girls Frontline Neural Cloud. We'll be going over beginner tips, progression guide infos, team building, and not to mention some tier lists. Also, huge thank yous to the devs for sponsoring today's video. Let's jump right into this. So first things being is the efficient progression. So one of the things you want to focus on is going into the main story and clearing out the content as fast as possible. It is your tried and true like standard thing when it comes to gacha games. The next up is going into the Perskia quest line. I believe that's what it's called. That's her name. This is going to provide you a five star copy of her. She is one of the most viable healers that you can get as a free to play. And if you didn't reroll for like Nanaka or someone else, she's going to just be really good value for you. Not to mention, take advantage of the first clear bonuses as you're going through the game because this will provide you a bunch of resources as you're going through the story. Just complete everything as much as possible. And then of course, don't forget about your oasis right here because this is gonna be your primary factor for idle resources. Ideally focus on the headquarters right here and then focus on the engineering bureau. These two will help you upgrade everything else. Don't focus on anything else early on unless you have like extra resources lying around. But IMO, don't do that because these are going to just provide you more value because it's going to be better long term. Next up is going into the endless exploration and digging up until 50 meters deep. And the reason for that is because after 50 meters, you'll be getting some extra rewards based off of, you know, the 50 meter clear on the stages that you are going through. And then after that, don't forget to complete your daily content every single day, such as acquiring fragments within the vulnerability check. That's going to give you ideally croquet fragments. That way you can upgrade her to the highest rarity as quickly as possible. And then not to mention, don't forget to go into the supplies and claim your supply pack every single day. These are going to be free. It's going to be a really nice bump. Next up is the core team and team building infos. You're going to have your tank croquet right here, and then you're going to have Perskiria. And then you're going to have your core DPS, ideally Aki or Hubble. You can replace them with Chauncey in case you didn't get Hubble, or you can replace them with V in case you didn't get Aki. These are just going to be quintessential so that you can deal damage on the floor. And then for DPS, you can use a combination of melee or range, and then supports, you can have one extra. Ideally, your team building is going to be looking like something like the balance where you have one shielder and then two healers and then two attackers, whether it's going to be melee or range. You can do a combination where, you know, healer focus where you have two healers, one physical and one sniper. I think like the healer focus and balance focus will allow you to tackle stages a lot farther. And I think damage focus is good early on in case you can push things without having to heal, but balance will just allow you to have more access to resources long term because I feel like double healer is just the safest bet when it comes to PvE games. Now that we've covered the progression guide, not to mention beginner tips, let's go into the monthly income when it comes to the game. You do your daily missions, weekly missions, bi-weeklies, daily logins, battle pass. Well, not all of us will have the battle pass, but the friendship shop. You should be getting a bunch of rolls, maybe like 50 rolls per month, which I think is absolutely phenomenal. And this is free to play, by the way, and depending on how you upgrade yourself, where you get the monthly card or battle pass, you will upgrade the amount of rolls. For example, you can get up to like 61 plus 12, 50 plus 18, 69 plus 18. So that's a lot. Just note, Girls Frontline Neural Cloud is going to be a very free to play game, and I definitely recommend checking this out. Next up are tier lists. So here are going to be the best guard units you can obtain within the game. We've talked about it before where Croquet is going to be the best one, mostly because she's free and she's going to have a very insane taunt. You can also use Evelyn alternatively. She's going to be a good damage reduction. Her ult is actually much better than Croquet's, but just know it's just going to be easier to build Croquet because you're going to have easier access to her and you don't have to roll for a different tank unit. Next up are the fighter units, and I recommend getting Aki if you can. He is the crit god and he has insane bursts, and we all know how crit is insanely important for PvE games because it'll add that hidden multiplier where you have a chance of beating other stages. Of course, V is really great. She ignores enemy evasion and stealth. She can crit actually based off of different functions. She just has to, you know, doesn't have her own kit to do the crits. And then you could always use Betty because she has insane scaling due to her passives. And also use Chelsea because she's a really good character if you enjoy auto chess, which, and she's also a one star, so it's gonna be pretty easy to get her. And then Fern and Soul and Centaurasi, they're not that recommended, but hey, you can use them in case you wanna do so. Next up are the snipers. Everyone, of course, knows Hubble. She's really great. She has like that AOE suck, which is really good. 
And then Chauncey right here, she's going to be really good at AoE, not the great at bosses like we covered earlier. Lamb is going to have really insane crit and she's going to be actually insane in endgame because she's scaling with her crit. And then we also have Simo right here, she's going to be a high DPS sniper that you can get for free. And then you can alternatively get Max or Fresno. Fresno you already have for free as you're jumping into the game. She's also starting at 1 star so it should be pretty easier to obtain copies and fragments of her. And then you can always use Earheart. And then Octogen, he's not that good early game and his ult kills himself. Which is rather unfortunate because I think he looks kind of cool. And then you have the specialist over here. Angela, she's going to be good at endgame so don't be fooled by like, you know, she is S tier but it's mostly because you are knowledgeable on her skill set and her kit. And specialist units are not that easy to use at the very beginning, in my opinion, just because of the fact that you need to understand the game a little bit more. It might be easier just to pick up a bunch of fighters and snipers. And then as you get used to everything, you can start upgrading specialists and fully utilize their kits. So for example, Sakya can have high DPS AOE by a ward margin by synergizing with someone like Aki based off of bleeds then Andrew's going to be really good for permanently increasing cooldowns of enemy skills. Obviously, if the enemies don't have skills, then she's not going to be as great. But, you know, endgame, endgame, endgame. You also have Rise right here. She's going to be proccing functions very easily. And then she can do focus fire and stack separate buffs layers. And then Bane is really good for negating enemy accuracy and evasion. And her damage gains very well. She just runs into her death, which is unfortunate. And then you also have Douche Vinaya is going to be good for powerful damage over time effects. And then Willow, you get her for free based off prereg. She's really good at blinding opponents and decent on early game. Then you can also get Antonia, Mai, and Abigail, and Cassinia and Groove. They're more, you know, specialized in case you want to use them. But overall, my recommendations definitely follow on Sakya or Angela. Both of them are pretty low rarity, so you should be able to get them at an easier pace than the others. Then we have the medics, and then we already talked about it, Nanaka, easy recommendation. But ideally you're using someone like Perskia because she's going to be easily available to you. And then Florence, she's going to be a special use case, but hey, she's going to be really good in case you don't have access to Nanaka because Florence and Perskia, they're going to be really good paired together. And of course, Perskia paired with Jin just because Jin is going to be pretty tanky as a healer, which I think is kind of interesting. Then you also have Jesse, Amatop, and Choco, and Panikia. Ideally, you don't use them because you already have access to someone like Persica. So yeah, those are going to be the tier list and the infos regarding everything. Overall, I think Girls Frontline Neurocloud is a great game. In case you guys are interested in playing the game, use the links down in the description. It really helps the channel, not to mention you get to play the game and get some free rewards. But yeah, thanks so much to the devs for sponsoring today's video. Anyways, if you made it this far, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment. Follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram. If you want to see my face and all the workouts that I do, once we hit 40k, so I'll be doing a giveaway. Thanks so much for watching. Have yourself a fantastic day. See you guys in the next one.